Hope now believes that the reason for all of this is because she lost her way. Who is she? She don't cheat on her husband. She just cheat with other people's husband. <laughs> she just cheat with other people's husband. She's talking to Brooke and she's admitting that maybe Leon's right. Maybe she did lose her way because she running around cheating on her husband. He don't even know that she slept with someone. He just think it's a kiss and everything. And I said, no, you don't cheat on your husband because you cheat with other people's husband. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This was a bold and beautiful August 21st, 2023. Okay, so Thomas finally finally back he finally back the missing piece or whatever i had read a spoiler that says that he's supposed to encourage hope to fix her marriage and everything and walk away from her i don't know how true that is but we'll see but yeah he's back steffi is questioning thomas about uh what's going on between him and hope i said i wouldn't tell steffi nothing i wouldn't tell her nothing especially not that you, you and uh you and Hope slept together, and I went to, I said I went to tell Ridge, but I just thought about it. Ridge knows already. Ridge already know. But Ridge might, you know, tell her Steffi, and Steffi definitely going to tell Liam. I said, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness. See, Hope should have thought about this. Now, whoever said that, it, it's been some people saying that Hope is going to end up pregnant, and that's what's going to, you know, blow everything out. And I said, look, both of them are liars anyway, because she's lying through a mission because she ain't told that she slept with another man during her marriage, and he ain't told that he kissed. <laughs> he that he kissed uh Steffi. But yeah, um Steffi is questioning Thomas about what's going on between him and Hope. While Liam is questioning Hope about what's going on with her. He said if there was ever a time for Hope to finally see Thomas for who he is and what he's capable of and everything, it's best birthday. I said he got a point. Because I feel like I would be reminded that you sit there and watch me grieve my daughter. You sit there and watch me grieve my daughter. But considering all the stuff these folks done did on this doggone show, you know, you can't really pick a side. He can't. Because they all done did some stuff. They all, even with the Sheila situation. Like, people, I actually seen some people brought this up. Everybody talk about what, she, what Sheila do. And the problem with Sheila is that she continues to do it. Now, nobody spoke on, I ain't going to say nobody, because some people did. Um, when when Steffi shot Sheila, nobody, what, what, what? And then uh, the whole Taylor shooting Bill thing, all of that. But, yeah, they pick and choose. You just got to, everybody messed up on this show. You just got to pick a side, y'all. That's what it is. But, yeah, um. Leon's still trying to talk to Hope and everything. I said, now make up your mind. Because also, they showed a preview. If you haven't seen it, it's all over social media again. Pick a platform, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. They got it. It's the promo for this week. And Liam and Hope, they are close. Look like they're about to kiss. I don't know. I don't know if they was kissing. I don't think they was kissing, but they look like they was about to kiss. And I said, now, nah, come on. No, you didn't run to this good after Steffi rejected you. And she, I feel like she still won't. Well, we all know she still wants him. But yeah, um... Brooke believes that it's not over between Hope and Liam. She's talking to Ridge. They gone forever beef about Thomas. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. They still beefing about this boy. boy. But yeah, Liam is asking Hope if she's lost. <laughs> he said, have you lost your D-word mind? <laughs> he said, respectfully. Respectfully. I'm asking you this respectfully. Have you lost your D-word mind? Look, Liam been going off on Hope. He been going in on her since this whole thing happened. Since this whole thing happened. Now, um, I thought she she still ain't bring up Steffi. Like, come on now. Y'all both, now they both be honest about what's going on and everything and what happened. I could see, you know, you could fix it or whatever. You could fix it because they're going to end up back together anyway, so it don't matter. But, yeah, but both of them lying. They still lying through a mission. Just like Steffi lying through a mission. But they said, um, I think on Friday's episode, this Friday's episode, Steffi and Finn supposed to, um, I don't know if they're going to reunite or just talk about everything. But uh, Liam tells her to recognize him for the person he is, for Thomas, for who he is and everything. Instead of trying to convince her, and she finally, she actually looked like she listening, but at the same time, she not. And uh, Ridge brings up, I said, okay, Ridge, say that. I said, say that, Ridge. Somebody got sense. He brought up how staying for the sake of the kids isn't always the best thing to do or the right thing to do. And I said, right. Y'all know I've been steady saying that. Because then what? No kids got to eventually grow up. Like, what then? What then? Hope apologizes again for kissing Thomas, but she ain't apologized for sleeping with Thomas. <laughs> oh, Liam going to be done, done then. He already the one wanted the divorce to begin with. And Brooke is killing me. Oh, my freaking goodness. Girl, now you just, Reese just told you. He just told you, girl. He just <laughs> told you that Liam admitted to his face that he won't Steffi back and he in love with her. And you going to encourage your daughter to settle? What's wrong with people? <laughs> Why? I, what the, what that song said, having a piece of a man is better than having no man at all. <laughs> That's what I thought about when they said that. He's still like, you can still save your marriage, girl. Just because you settle. Look, Hope need to tell her again, just because just you settle for a man that couldn't decide. Don't mean I got to, but look like Hope gonna fold. 
she gonna fold and then turn up pregnant. Who knows? But yeah, um, Liam tells Hope that he want to help her find her way back because that's not her. That's not what she do. Everything Thomas did, that's not who she is and all this stuff. And she over here emotional crying and stuff. And I was like, mm, mm, mm. but um, Steffi wanted to know how would how would Thomas feel, you know, if if Hope and Liam fix their marriage? And he was like, oh, I'll be fine with, I'll be okay with. Then proceeded to say, well, I gotta say, they signed the paper, so it's only a matter of time for the end. I said, you fool. <laughs> I said, you fool. I said, regardless of if they actually find paperwork, she gonna forever be in love with Liam and want Liam. And not just that. This whole time that you ain't been there, she has been like, she's been hesitant, she's been concerned about Liam and Steffi, she's just been not the same energy that she had when y'all was in that bedroom if you get my dream. She had the same energy. It changed. Did y'all notice that? That it changed? And she, she, and then she don't stand on her word. Why don't people stand on their word? Like, if you say Thomas loves you and only you and wants only you, don't say, like, oh, it's a man that's going to choose me, you know, all this. And, and you be like, oh, I don't know what the future holds. Just say you want to figure it out with him or whatever and see where it goes. But she don't say that. She still be talking about Steffi. Steffi did. Steffi, the reason my marriage ended. No, 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 no. I said, Brooke and Ridge going to forever disagree about Thomas. I said, they're going to forever. They started, she started bringing up Thomas about, uh, what did she say? Some type of way she tried to make it seem like, if it had not been for Thomas. I said, girls, you hard of hearing that. Y'all know I keep saying that. She ain't like she hard of hearing or something. Your daughter told you before all this went down, you knew how she felt about Thomas. You knew. I was, I was, I don't know if I brought this up in the review the other day. What was it? I don't know if it was... It was some, was it on this? No, it was on General Hospital, never mind. But it's the same thing, basically, with Hope and Thomas being, if Brooke and Ridge get married, and that's the, <laughs> they, so, they simply, <laughs> they, I, look, I was thinking about General Hospital when I was Dante and Sam, when they was laying in the bed the other day, I was like, wait a minute now. And they was talking about Christine, and I was like, that's both of y'all sisters. <laughs> that's both of y'all sisters. I was like, that's weird. I don't care how you spend it. That's weird. <laughs> But uh, they gonna fail to disagree about Thomas. They start. She's still trying to imply that if Thomas had just respected Hope's marriage, and then Rich said, Rich said, if she she didn't respect her own marriage, I said, right, right. You know all about that, don't you? But it, both of y'all, both of y'all. But Liam believes that he got through the whole. He's talking to Steffi and everything, saying how. Oh, you know what? For the first time, I feel like I actually got through to her and everything. And Steffi was making faces, and I was like, look, look at here, look. Oh my goodness, cause Steffi want him back too. Watch. It's going to be revealed. I'd be shocked if they actually go with the storyline where she don't tell him how she feel. But it's obvious. Come on now. I don't care if you got three kids by him. If he was trying to kiss you or did kiss you and uh, overstepping boundaries or whatever. And you, your husband, you married or whatever or in a relationship and you don't tell your significant other. Then that makes it look like you actually want that person. To me, in my opinion, that's what I think. Because she over here protecting him. You don't protect him. You protect the, your union or whatever. But yeah, um, Hope believes that she lost herself as well. She's talking to Brooke. Brooke's like, yes, good, good. I said, shut up, Brooke. You stop encouraging this girl. I don't think she should be with Liam. I don't think she be, should be with Thomas either. Because <laughs> she don't want Thomas. She don't really want Thomas. That's a front. That's a front. Because what happens when, uh, now if they bring Caroline back, Thomas going to drop her. He going to drop her. Now, I don't know. Because I, I heard that he been crazy about Hope. So that might not be the case. But yeah, I was like, she don't really want him, so I can't encourage I can't encourage them to be together. And then it's weird anyway. But Brooke encourages her to fight for her, her family and her marriage. So I'm like, it's not too late. And they keep bringing up Beth again. Oh, you should have seen them together. The love is still there. I said, shut up. <laughs> now what happens? Okay, if y'all get back together because of the child, because Beth kept saying how, oh, it's just to have you two together. And, and that's the best birthday ever and all this stuff. Okay, what if she say... Well, she said, I don't like y'all together. Y'all said, both seem unhappy. Is y'all going to listen to it then? That should be the time that you listen to it. But that's it, y'all. Let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this is.